so we're uncovering it. All right, so we're uncovering it. The shovel head. 1978, blow rider. My cousin next, and uh, he left it there. First glimpse of it, we'll show you when we get it out in the light a little bit more. But there she sits, she's been covered up for many years. So here's me rolling the bike out. The 1978 Shovelhead coming out of the garage into some daylight. And uh, as you can tell, it's in pretty nice shape. Thankfully, my uh, cousin kept the bike in the garage and it kept it covered up. Uh, that definitely kept it in really nice shape over the course of the years. So uh, very grateful that he did that. And uh, you can see the color still pops on this thing. It's uh, amazing the color on it. Uh, and uh, it really just really shines there in the sun. So going to get it ready to get it loaded up, put it up on a trailer, and bring it back to the campground. We'll check it out a little bit more later. Shovel had made it to Florida. It's a long trip from Pennsylvania. Let's get her out of there. All right, so let's go check over this thing here. So, like I said, it's a 1978 FXS 1200 low rider. Okay, 1200 being 1200 cc, 74 cubic inch. The low rider model. You can tell it has a dual dual disc brakes on the front. That's how the low riders came. Pretty much all original. What I know to be non-original on this bike is the paint job. Obviously somebody painted this thing over. If I remember correctly, you had gray or black in 78. And I remember the uh, font on the Harley Davidson was very big. And of course the little letters AMF on there. Uh, not quite sure about the pipes. If I remember correctly, somebody quote me if I'm wrong. I believe the low riders had a two into one, like a big baloney cut on the end down there. It looks like it has the original uh, highway pegs down there on it. That, that was an option. You can see on the frame, it still has the stickers. This is a numbers matching bike. The frame and the engine numbers all do match. Uh, engine looks pretty much to be all original. Can't tell whether or not the jugs came off or not. Uh, we'll have to go into that a little further. I am missing the uh, the battery holder and stuff like that. Original wheels on there, the cast aluminum wheels, the big brakes on the back, the big uh, single disc on the back of that one there. Looks very much pretty much here on the same. Uh, the backrest, the little Harley backrest on there, and it is a uh, Harley backrest on the cushion part of it. Let's turn around to the other side. All right, let's go, let's go around to the other side here. So uh, all still looking pretty original in here and everything like that. Uh, you can see down there on the fork legs, uh, I believe it had 96, 97 Pennsylvania inspection sticker. I do believe that was the last time this bike was on the road. Uh, original horn, everything looks pretty original on this side. Original foot pegs is missing the rubber on that one. Original shifter still had that little uh, Harley thing on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know, the shovel head looks pretty much all original on this side. It has the little buttons on top of the shovel head heads there. You know, the original coil pack, uh, the original oil container. Uh, little side note there, Gatto Harley-Davidson, uh, Trenton, PA. My cousin was actually working at Gatto Harley-Davidson uh, back there. Gatto is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on the, uh, outside of Pittsburgh and Trenton, PA. And uh, he was working there when this guy came in wanting to... Uh, trade this bike in on a newer Evo a Harley. And of course, back in the uh, early 90s and stuff, uh, shovelheads weren't bringing very good money and they just did not want to take that as a trade-in. So uh, my cousin actually made a deal with the uh, owner on the side there, bought the bike, rode it home, and I'm so glad he was able to get it and had the foresight to buy the bike to 
preserve it for uh, future use. So uh, as you can see, uh, pretty much uh, there again, pretty much all original. Dash cluster looks to be pretty much all original on there with the tack and the speedometer, all the controls, the original uh, drag style bars that was on there. You know, this was all kind of a, a Willie G. Uh, this was his uh, this was his baby back in the day, and uh, it was a really cool bike. So uh, mileage, not quite sure of. It is a numbers matching bike, like I said again, with the frame and the engine and all that good stuff. So. Uh, Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll get into this in more detail. Just wanted to give you a little uh, look around one more time here today of the bike, uh, see what it looked like before we get into it. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, every time I put a new video out, you'll know about it. And of course, share it. Give me a thumbs up. That always helps. And you know, and uh, I really appreciate that as well. So thanks again so much. And hey, we'll catch you out on the road. See ya.